Okay, let's start this morning. This is Mike. Thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. You know, all this week we're talking about the power of time. Because we all get 1,440 minutes in every day, right? Nobody gets more. Nobody gets less. You know, I think that's the great equalizer, isn't it? Everybody gets the same number of minutes in every day. The great equalizer. I've always found that the difference between people isn't how smart they are. It's not, or I would be at the bottom of the industry some days, I swear. Or their education level. I never had a lot of education. I didn't. I probably should. I encourage you to. I didn't. But I was still able to sell a lot of houses. Right? Uh, it's not how pretty they are. I mean, look at me. I've sold over 10,000 houses. I ain't that pretty. It's not any of that stuff. The difference between people is simply how they use their minutes. Some people just use them better than other people do. And that ends up being all the difference. You know, every year I'm invited to sit in a room with 15 of the top agents from across North America, the U.S. and Canada. And I think it's, I still get invited based on my past production. Uh, but here, this is what I wanted to share with you this morning. Here's the dirty little secret that they don't want you to know. This is what they talk about in closed rooms by invitation only, and they don't invite other people in, and we're not supposed to disclose it. But then I guess you shouldn't say things in front of me if you don't want me to repeat it, right? No, here's the dirty little secret. They don't want you to know because it would make things harder on them. They don't want you to know this. See. They all have problems. I know these people. I get to sit in there for three days with them every year. And it's pretty much the same people every year. It's funny how that is. Um, and I observe this. They all have problems. Things in their lives don't always, they rarely go as planned. Uh, they have families. They have kids they're raising. It's important to them to be a good parent. It is, just like it is to you. They have family members with problems and health issues that they feel uh, they need to help out with, and that's a burden and an obligation in their lives. They have, um, they have problems with their spouses, so maybe their relationships aren't always as great as they wish they were, and it's very distracting and it drains them of energy and attitude and time. They have all the same problems you and I have. As a matter of fact, the only people you don't think have problems just like you, just as important, just as big, just as serious, it's not just happening to you. When you look at other people and you think that their lives are just easier than yours, you just don't know them that well. If you knew them better, you wouldn't think that. You would see some of the things that I get to see, which is, None of us are getting out of here alive, and before we exit the planet, we all have constant problems. It's a broken world, right? It's a broken world, and, and there's pain and there's problems, and nobody is immune from, to it. They have all the same problems you and I have. Then why are they making so much money compared to everybody else? Why are they make, why are some people just killing it and making hundreds of thousands or millions and most of the industry starving to death? Well, it's not that they're smarter, better, prettier. It's not that they don't they have problem-free lives, they're carefree, they don't have kids or problems they're dealing with. They don't they all have the same shit. then why are they doing so much better than everybody else? Does that question ever haunt you? Why are they doing better than you? Are they smarter than you? Are they better than you? Here's what I found. No, nah, they're not. They're not. They just have a dirty little trick, a secret, that they learned and they found how powerful it can be and they use it and they don't want you to know it because then their things would get harder for them if everybody knew it. 
It's just this, folks. They start each and every day really early. That's it. And you want to believe that it's something bigger and, and more complex and, and harder to obtain. It's not. Although that is hard. They just start every day really early. And I know this because that's what I learned. Many people would say, I say, hey, you know, in 2011, I sold 1,504 homes. And I was only working four days a week. And people don't believe me. They're, well, go ask Dwayne. He was there. Go ask Bobby Clarkson. He was working with us. They saw it. How did I do that? Well, I do it just like I do it today. Still do it the same way. Why? I get up really early. Personally, I get up at 430. I try to get to work by 7, 715 at the latest. Five days a week. That's what I do. That's what I do. Some of you say, well, I've been here early on Friday and you don't come into almost nine on Friday. Did it ever occur to you that I have a breakfast meeting on Friday? Ah, uh, yeah. These people that I get to sit in this room with, they, have, they're, they don't have very much in common with each other. They're young, they're old, they're men, they're women, they're experienced. Some of them are newer to the business. Uh, some of them have families, young kids at home. Some of them don't. It's just all over the place. They live in different parts of North America. They focus in different areas of the business. There's not a lot of commonality there. What commonality is there? Uh, none of them, zero, start their day. Now, I'm not talking about what time they get up. I'm talking about starting their business day at work, ready to go. None of them start later than 7.30. None of them. And the reason why is because um, I wrote this down. I'm going to read it to you because when I heard it, I found it so impactful that I asked the agent to say it again and I wrote it down and it is this in quote, a highly focused early morning helps me allevi alleviate the anxiety of facing a day's worth of seemingly endless bullshit. <laughs> Let me say that again in quotes, a highly focused early morning, not later than seven for this guy. A highly focused early morning helps me alleviate the anxiety of facing a day's worth of seemingly endless bullshit. That's it. That's the dirty little secret. And they don't want you to know that. So every single one of you, I'm going to issue you a challenge starting today. For the entire month of September, the five days that you work, I don't care which five days they are, you pick. Here's the challenge. I want you to get up, get dressed, and be here. Be here on site with me by 7 a.m. every morning. And some of you are going, oh my God, that's unthinkable. I can never pull it off. Then you crawl back into your cave and go back to your mediocre little life and get out of the fast lane that let other people pass you by. Just get out of the fast lane. You're getting in the way, you're junking up traffic. You don't want much in your life, then get the hell over. Those of you that do, move over into the left lane and let's pass everybody. For the entire month of September, get up, get here by 7 a.m. And by September 30th, let's see what the power of that has done for you. And if you'll do that, you'll go out and you'll make it happen for yourself.